Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Margaret, and I am a wife, a mom, grandma, a lover of the Lord, and uh, I get on here and share. So today, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to share with you something that I found extremely amazing when I first encountered it. And hey, Marissa. Uh, hey, Cotton. So um, I, for most of you, you know, I keep saying that I've been on a journey for a little bit. And so one of the things um, that has been my most favorite uh, about my journey is uh, going back to the original Hebrew culture uh, that the Bible was written in. And um, it's been amazing. And so actually what I want to share with you today is the Ten Commandments translated into English exactly from their Hebrew. Um, because it's amazing and it reads a little differently than than what we have grown up learning. So um, I actually have them um, printed on my wall, so I'm going to read them to you. And um, the first commandment says, I am, and I'm going to stop here for a second because there's a few different translations for how people say the name of the Lord. Um, his name is actually uh, four letters. And so some people say um, Yahweh, some people say Yehovah. Um, so what I have done, because there's so many different translations or you know different ways of pronouncing, um, but they all start with the same. <laughs> so I have written on my wall, I am Yah, God of you. Number two, you shall have no other gods beside my face. Number three, you shall not take the name of the Lord God of you for vanity. Reads a little different, doesn't it? Number four, remember the day of rest to keep it holy. Number five, honor the father of you and the mother of you. Number six, you shall not murder. Number seven, you shall not commit adultery. Number eight, you shall not steal. Number nine, you shall not bear against your neighbor witness falsely. Number 10, you shall not covet. So when I first um, saw that, like I was amazed. And the, one, of the, one of the main ones that was amazing to me was um, you shall not murder because in many of our translations, um, it actually says, you shall not kill. And those don't mean the same thing. So um, anyway, so I thought that was pretty amazing and I wanted to share that with you. The other thing I want to share um, that I thought was amazing is the number four commandment, which is remember the day of rest to keep it holy or remember the Sabbath day, um, is that... Many of us grow up thinking that the Sabbath day was instituted when the Ten Commandments were given, but in all actuality, that commandment was instituted at creation. Um, and if you go back and read it in Genesis, um, the, it clearly says on the seventh day that God rested. So I thought that was pretty amazing. So um, I just wanted to share those with you. Um, I was going to read both translations, like what's in your Bible uh, against the Hebrew, but you guys can do that on your own. I didn't want to uh, keep this video too long. So those are my scriptures for today. Um, and I thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, if you're watching this on the replay, please comment replay. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a blessed day.